uh, uh, we should state categorically that persons who kill individuals, they are not cockroaches. Because cockroaches, what they do, a cockroach actually goes and feeds on food of persons and not deliberately try to kill you. So persons who kill people are worse than cockroaches. And I mean very really good. When people try to when people try to allude to the fact that you want me to try to look at a a cold blooded disgusting parasite of a murderer and, and want me to try to what put them in Crown Plaza and, and offer them breakfast and call them community leaders? No. For the PNM then. I, I didn't call names. <laughs> well, I'm telling you why I sit here. I am looking at anybody who's a cold blooded murderer, I will crush you as a cockroach and treat you as such. Because that's what you are. You are depriving the rights of citizens of this country. And if you feel I intend to endorse it and and and, and government give them contract. Not on my watch. If you look at what has happened with life sport, that is the, the political will that we are seeing now. And the political will, once I remain as the Minister of National Security, and again, once Kamala Prasad Dissetso continues to operate as she has done, and shown that political will that we will not negotiate with terrorists, we will not negotiate with criminal elements, this is what this will continue to operate in this manner. As you speak about terrorists, um, do, you, do you still see, or do you think, that the Jamaat al Muslim is is still a threat to our society, stability, and democracy. What we have is intelligence agencies that will be monitoring um, organizations, monitoring individuals, put the baby persons of interest, and we will continue to monitor them to ensure that they will not be a repeat of 1990. Again, a similar example, because of what happened in 1990, that had to do with basic um, the aspects of politicians looking at situations and not wanting to, to um, push that envelope. I, I wish to assure the country what happened in 1990 that took seven days to, to end. If they do it on my watch, it will be completed in seven minutes. I have no intention to sit down and try to negotiate. I have no intention to negotiate with criminals or terrorists in any form or fashion. I want to read some, a couple of texts actually before you continue. Good morning to all. Just want to say that I appreciate the work that the minister is doing. Hope he has more time to make a serious dent in crime. And concerned listener, concerned the TNT listener, how does GPS enhance the OPV during drug enhancement? So, what's that is? Okay, let me just say, last one for GPS is very critical towards drug enhancement because we ha there, there will be a fact similar to the, what we have done now with the police service through the highway patrol and the rapid response on the GPS or the vehicles. We do the same with the naval vessels. It ensures that all Coast Guard vessels will now stay in their area of responsibility. That never happened before. If you don't stay in your area of responsibility, you divert. There might be certain individuals, just as all over the, in all business or whatever, they will have somebody who might be on the take. They will deliberately divert their vessel. By us monitoring the, the G every Coast Guard vessel through GPS, we can ensure that we have a proper lock of our borders so that you see your area of responsibility which means that we are aware that anything is, is penetration our border we can then have that vessel move immediately to that area for interception if they do not get there at a specific time we then know that there was some slackness that took place so you deliberately sabotage the operation it is similar to the rapid response and the highway patrol it is not it's not uh, coincidental that last year never before in the history of this country have we seen such high visibility of law enforcement and there's a reason for that it is not a factor just just put in hundreds of vehicles. Many administrations and ministers have done that before. But if it is, you do not have four principles to ensure that these things work effectively, such as good leadership, accountability, measure performance, and management, then you then the vehicles will, will break down. They will not stay in the areas of responsibility. So what we have now is preventative maintenance. Also, we have GPS on every police vehicle. So if a police vehicle diverts from the area of responsibility, we can automatically on the screen to the National Operations Center. Do you have that right now? Yes, we do. That is why it is that you can leave from um, Grand Bazaar head south and you will see every five minutes a police vehicle. You could be on a pizza on a Friday night. Every two minutes a police vehicle. How many police vehicles does the service have approximately? Uh, and how many, I, I, I and how many are equipped with the GPS? Uh, the majority have GPS now. So with that now... And you intend to... That's right. And all new police vehicles. Yes. And we can monitor them. So, first we will also say that um, if, if three police vehicles are parked in a police station and we know they are supposed to be on a patrol, we can monitor it now. That is why you have seen the heavy visibility. It was not by luck, it was not by chance. It was based on good management, measuring performance, and putting everybody what about, accountable. Uh, what about firearms for police officers? Can they take people with their firearms or they still have to? Well, again, I've, I've, I've noticed the things I speak about are policies. I don't leave it operations. That is, okay. a, that is the quality commissioner of police. Right. Uh, he has been uh, um, agreeing. 
and he has agreed to do it to some extent. It is not to give every police officer a, a weapon for him to go home with. But based on the threat assessment, based on the duty of that specific police officer, the Commissioner of Police has allowed that to take place, and it has helped greatly even in certain communities. If a police officer is, is off duty and an incident takes place, he can then be part of the situation to have it rectified. But there were some instances where we even heard about um, uh, bulletproof vests. 10 years old and and um, one police officer, uh, more than one police officer has to use the same vest. I mean, how... how no, that, that is not true. That is not true. Um, there have been acquisition for 3,000 odd bulletproof vests just a, a few months ago. That was that was also approved, uh, likewise with firearms. So, the Charity of Police Service for the first time, because we have, again, good accountability and good management, that is the job of the Minister of National Security, not coming up with crime plans, not anacondas, Baghdads, OPVs, being sought. It is to provide policies, provide the proper framework for good administration, good logistics to ensure that these law enforcement agencies have the equipment that 